Okay, so we're gonna integrate on both sides. And when I do, we get y by itself. y is equal to, and I'm gonna let u equal the bigger power one. So we have u is equal to cosine of x. So du is equal to negative sine x dx. Now the problem is, I have sine x, but I don't have negative, right? So let's kick it out. So negative du is equal to sine x dx. So my direct substitution is going to be, let me rewrite it over here. The inter, y is equal to the integral of, kick out the negative, u is substituted instead of cosine, u squared du. And then let's add one and divide it by that. So when I add one, we get one third negative spe specifically, u to the three plus c. And we could find the c value. They said when y equals zero, x is pi over two. So I could say uh, y equals zero, that we have negative one third. Since our u was sub substituted with the cosine, let's put in cosine x. And instead of x, put pi over two. And then we have cubed plus c. Now something unique happens at pi over two. At pi over two, what is our x movement? Zero, so that all goes away, right? So if that goes away, that means really in the end, my c is zero. So our particular solution is going to be y is equal to negative one third um, cosine of x cubed, because c was zero. And our final answer is gonna be when x equals zero, what is our y value? So then let's kind of think about it. Cosine of zero. So cosine of zero is right here. What is that x movement right there? Zero, is it zero? One comma zero, so that's gonna be one. All that is gonna be one. So really in the end, my answer is negative one third, and that's gonna be B.